Muchachos e muchachas, welcome back to another video, one of which is going to be a bit of an update for you guys. And I'm going to elaborate a little bit about something that I have been working on very, very recently. As you guys remember last week, I was gone. I was absent for a full solid seven days. <laughs> and um, I believe now looking back that this was divinely appointed downtime because I got a strike on each one of my channels, my main one, Natalie Denise, and as well as my podcast channel, Unravel with Natalie Denise. And as you guys may or may not know, you, you probably don't know this, but I am contractually obligated to upload on YouTube. Uh, you know, so this is a platform that I must preserve and I must upload to. So therefore, my hands were tied. I couldn't do anything last week. And so I thought, OK, well, if you can't do anything, then you might as well work on that project that's been on your heart for a long time, because I don't know that you're going to have this type of this is me talking to myself, by the way. I'm like, I don't know that you're going to have this type of time again, you know, where it's just like literally you're strapped down and you're you're going to do this. And. So I did as you in this, this has a lot to do with helping the world combat the issue of human trafficking. Uh, as you guys may know about me or you may not know about me, um, you know, I have been an actual volunteer for the past 10 years. I've done a lot of ministry and volunteer work in that industry of, you know, as well as survivor advocacy. And so I've been able to actually go out on the streets and, you know, actually witness this for myself. I've actually been able to go inside the brothels. I've been able to look at the the victims in the eyes, the survivors in the eyes, talk to them. I've been able to connect with them as well as advocate for, you know, survivors. And it's been a big passion of mine for the past, again, almost 10 years, for almost a decade I've been doing this. And to this day, it's it's been actually a great experience watching society sort of wake up to this horror because I'm telling you like before 2019 I don't think anybody knew about this I don't think a lot of on the scale that we know about it I don't think a lot of people knew about it and so it's a great thing that humanity actually woke up and are educating themselves every single day about it and so with that, a lot more people are wanting to get involved. A lot of you have been in my DMs and asked me, well, Natalie, how how can I get involved? How can I, you know, volunteer and know what's going on around my area? And, and I haven't always had a straight answer. And, and that's because it's always been either geographically based, uh, you know, needs or, or situational based needs, those of which I, I can't physically know everything because I'm one person and I'm I'm just, you know, in one location, right? So that poses a problem there because you ought to be able to know these things. So with that being said, you know, combined with my experience you know, within the uh, volunteership in that in, in that dark uh, dark industry and witnessing the lack, you know, witnessing what organizations are out there helping who are on the front lines who are actually doing something about that and then knowing what the lack of is you know the lack of legislation the lack of volunteership the lack of resources the lack of funding you know the lack of safe houses is a big 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 issue and that's something that i feel you know we need to fill the gaps in as a society and i believe that we can but there has to be a structure to all of this. And in order to do that, we've got to create something centralized, something where it's just a go to. You just go to this one place and you can find all that information out, not just, you know, our local ministries, our local organizations. No, it has to be somewhere where it's one place where you can go to and know you know, whether there is, you have local organizations in your area that uh, need this type of volunteership or this resource or this singular item or, you know, uh, what what have you, anything that they need, you should be able to go to this one place and find those things out. Or if there are events in your area, you know. Um, so I thought to myself, well, Natalie, you have that experience, you know, you have if a little a little bit more about me i've actually been in the corporate arena for a long time as well you know i've i've been an operations analyst an accountant i've been a data analyst a business a technical business analyst i've been, uh, also built 
uh, user interfaces. I've done a lot of user interface architecture. So I know how to do this. I know how to plan this out. It's just the matter of me sitting down and doing it. And so all of those words to say that I was able to create in my downtime counter trafficking alliance. This is going to be huge. This is going to be a big, big impact in our local communities around the world. I believe this is going to be the organization that we've always needed in the anti-trafficking, um, anti-trafficking uh, advocacy space, because us as a community, we're starting to wake up to our local communities. You know, a lot of you are waking up to your local uh, authorities, local governments, you know, and you're you're getting into the civic processes a little bit more. And this is a great thing because we ought to be assiduous to these types of things, but we also ought to be assiduous to the types of needs we have in our communities. And because if there is a big problem in our community, if this is a big, dark industry empire, then there ought to be a big counter resistance to it or a big help to advocate and, um, you know, quell the needs out there, quench the needs out there. And so counter trafficking alliance, the big idea is that this is going to be a centralized space where you can go to and you can get to know what those needs are. Here's the thing. And uh, there, there are a couple needs. That, there are two needs that I need. There are two needs that I need. There are two needs out there for this. Number one, volunteers. I need to know what is it that you can contribute as well as far as your skills, your resources, you know, what can you offer uh, to help volunteer? Some of you might be educators. Some of you might be musicians. Some of you might be, you know, uh, therapists or data analysts or Engine, you know, there's a, uh, laborers, you might have some hands on handiwork experience. There is a whole list on na uh, counter, I'm sorry, counter trafficking alliance.com. And there is a volunteer button, go click it, fill out the form. That's the first thing I need from you. I need you to let me know how specifically can you help this cause. And there's a slew of things there. And if there's not, then you can, there's an option for you to enter your specific skill or your specific resource. Now that's one thing. The other thing is funding. I am going to need your support in funding this big, big, big project. Again, it's bigger than me. It's going to be bigger than me. Uh, I can assure you that, but I'm going to need to, um, you know, do some startup resourcing. Uh, so this is one thing, you know, I will need to fund the overhead expenses for the website, the organization software. That's definitely going to be something that I'll need to do as well as travel. I mean, there's just a lot of things that I am just, my heart is just so in this, I mean, for a decade, but this combined with my technical experience, I know that this is something that we need. We need this organization yesterday. And so this is a call to you uh, for you to help out. And this is how you can get involved now. So if you will go to countertraffickingalliance.com, there's a donate button there or countertraffickingalliance.com slash donate. And I'll put that in the uh, description below. And so what you can in this organization, so what you can in this big idea, because it will manifest and it will be something huge. It will be something great. And I know how to organize it. I know how to spatially plan this out and organize and manifest this into the physical realm. But I need your support. I need you to help me crowdfund this and get this off the ground. And again, the faster that we can do this, the faster it'll get off the ground. And I'm telling you, I'm itching to go through these resources right now and hold the first meeting in town hall about the next step. So if you will, guys, if you want to see this manifest and you want to see it manifest quick, if you'll go to countertraffickingalliance.com and uh, so what you can into it, I, I can assure you this is going to be something big, something bigger than you've ever seen before. And it's going to dent the industry. It's going to put a lot of fire and mobilization to the already existing organizations that know how to project further. They just need more support and they don't know how to get the support or the funding or, you know, what have you. But we're going to be able to identify those needs and project them further. And then for those needs that are out there that have not been met, we're going to be able to identify them and meet them where they are. So anyway, guys, I'm I am so ecstatic about this. You have no idea. 
I am just so ready to hit the ground running, and I, I, I cannot wait to show you what's next. Uh, again, countertraffickingalliance.com slash donate or just countertraffickingalliance.com. There's going to be a donate button at the bottom. I am ecstatic. I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for your support. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.